why you need to take a stand. There's pollution all over the land. I don't know how long we'll be here. Let's sing that song some more time. At the scene of legendary singers Oscar Brown and Pete Seeger in New York's Union Square celebrating the first ever Earth Day back in 1970. Nice. Can't believe it's been that many years. I know. Man, well, we're just two days away from this year's Earth Day on Friday, April 22nd. My mother's birthday, by the way. Oh, happy yeah, birthday. Yeah, happy birthday to her. And what better way to prepare for Earth Day than taking a closer look at living a zero-waste lifestyle? Now, that means creating no trash. And if you think it's impossible, we're about to show you one woman will prove you wrong. Here's ABC's Nikki Batiste. Take a look in your trash can. Chances are you are adding to the 250 million tons of trash Americans dump each year, but not this young lady. This is all your trash. Yes. Believe it or not, 25-year-old Lauren Singer lives totally trash-free. Almost four years now. Four years in this little tiny jar. Yes. Do you even have a trash can? I don't have a trash can. Americans produce an average of 4.4 pounds of trash per day, but only 34% is recycled. What is trash? For me, trash is anything that would go to landfill. Trash is still the stuff that's hanging out on the street, anything that people can't reuse or compost or recycle. In college, while majoring in environmental studies, Lauren decided to live a zero waste life. So I made a decision to stop using plastic. But that is really difficult because everything is plastic. That's why she carries this stainless steel straw. And she suggests buying recyclable aluminum or reusable glass jars. I realized that I couldn't just buy my way out of using plastic. I had to start making a lot of products myself. So Lauren started making her own beauty and cleaning products, even selling environmentally friendly laundry detergent online. She buys all her clothes secondhand, shops package-free composts, and eats organic local food. I started living zero waste because it aligned with my values. But I continued living zero waste because it saved me a ton of money, it changed my diet, and I'm healthier. On her blog, Trash is for Tossers, Lauren suggests some additional zero waste alternatives. One is homemade toothpaste. Her recipe, peppermint, coconut oil, stevia, and baking soda. And then the cool thing is, is like, say it's too salty for you. You can add more coconut oil, you can add more peppermint. And there's nothing in here that you couldn't eat or swallow. I just ate it. It yeah. tastes fine. <laughs> yeah, see? I'm just gonna my teeth feel clean. Lauren may be living waste-free, but she doesn't expect everyone to. Her hope is that we simply try. For the people that, you know, watching will say, well, I have three kids, I work 14 hours a day, I don't have time. I think it's just a misconception that living sustainably takes a lot of time. When I started living this lifestyle, I had a full-time job while I was a full-time student, had a full-time social life, and a full-time boyfriend. You were busy. I was busy. And you figured it out. And I figured it out. Nikki Batiste, ABC News, New York. All right, we're interested in this homemade toothpaste, so we're going to give it a shot here. I think we already have the baking soda and the coconut oil out here. I'm going to go for some peppermint oil now. We're adding mm -hmm. that to the recipe. Peppermint she said oil. she suggested using a lot. I don't really know what that means, but I suppose we can always add more. And, and then some stevia. Again, just guessing here. So while you're making that, I'm going to give three tips for living a more environmentally friendly life. Look in your trash can, see what you're throwing away, and try to reduce it. Oh, God, so, I, I think I may have put a lot of peppermint. <laughs> Wait, what's I'm going actually, on over there? I'm actually inhaling the peppermint what's, oil for me. I have to brush my We're teeth. We're going to be very, very, very minty Are you trying to after this. What's going on Possibly. Over I... <laughs> oh, by the way, she recommends using a reusable bag or cup and say no to plastic. Okay. So and do, so, I do that at home sometimes. You wash out the bags. I think this helps again. us to not use up those toothpaste tubes, too. Wait, that doesn't look like no, my toothpaste great. at no, home. No, it's great. No, it's totally. All this is exactly... This is exactly what toothpaste is. <laughs> <laughs> wait, mix that up, man. Get that. Wait, I'm not brushing my teeth with that. Put some elbow grease <laughs> in it, my grandma used to say. We need a mixer or a blender up in here. Can yeah. you get, get some equipment? Okay, and then she also recommends making your own products. Now, I don't know how you make your own lotion. All right, I'm going for it. Okay, you're going to do it? I'm doing it. All right, this is what homemade toothpaste. <laughs> First of all, take a look at my toothpaste here. Cam oh. It's clumping up. It's clumping up. That's not what it looks like when you take it out of the tube. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Oh my God! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Oh wait. What's the matter? No, it's good. It's nice yeah, and tasty. Wait it's a second. It's delicious. Wait a second. Oh. All right. Uh, 
The recipe is oh, on cool. WNNFans.com. That's our Facebook page. Make sure you check it out. My that lips feel really great. Greasy. I might just want to eat this. I feel like I have oil all over my face.